Thanks for coming to check out Gruff. In Gruff, you take the role of a shepherd who's got his team of mutated monster goats that are going to smash through their enemies' defenses and be victorious when they kill the shepherd on the other side. To do that, you've read a team of the meanest, weirdest, and fattest goats the world has ever seen. Each of the goats comes with 15 ability cards, and in this example, we've already separated out eight cards per goat and uh, shuffle those together to make a deck. And we've put sliders on the stat scores for each of the goats and on the life and the crazy bar for the shepherd. Uh, as I said just a second ago, all of your goats are mean, they're weird, and they're fat. And, uh, the reason why they're mean and they're weird and they're fat is that those stats do different things within the game. Your mean score is the amount of damage that a goat does when he attacks. For example, Zumberg has two mean right now. If I was going to attack Old Darby, I would do two damage to Old Darby, which would kill him and knock him out and deal a point of damage over to Gristle. And if I do enough damage to Gristle where he runs out of life, I win the game. On the other hand, if I if Darby had too fat, and I dealt two damage to him, Darby would get knocked out, and no damage would go over Gristle. And if Darby just had three fat, just one over my mean, my attack does literally nothing at all, and Zumberg gets pushed back, uh, completely defeated. So that's how mean and fat behave. Mean is your offense, fat is your defense. But weird, weird is a little bit weird. And to explain how weird works, I'm going to have you go ahead and draw the top five cards of your deck. So go ahead and grab the top five cards of your deck. Take a look at those. Now you'll notice that there are a lot of different types of cards. Uh, but all of the cards have a purple circle in the upper left-hand corner and a little colored circle underneath that. That colored circle indicates what type of card they are. There are three types of cards. There are... Cards with an orange circle with a check mark. Those types of cards are immediate actions. Uh, they happen as soon as you play them. They, their effect resolves, and they go straight into your discard pile. The other type of card are conditions. These cards have effects that last a little bit longer. They have an effect that will stay until the beginning of your next turn. And then the third type of card are mutations. Mutations affect the board permanently. You'll have uh, an ability that stays until this card goes away. And all cards, regardless of whether they're actions, conditions, or mutations, have this purple circle in the upper left-hand corner that indicates how crazy your shepherd needs to be in order to play those cards. So your shepherd has a crazy score at the bottom of this card right here. Now, right now, my crazy score is zero, which means I can't play any cards that cost more than zero. And that's not going to do. So I need to drive my Shepherd a little bit more crazy so I can play cards. You get crazy by activating goats. At the beginning of each turn, you will choose one and only one of your goats to be active that turn. That goat will be taking the turn. And every time you activate a goat, your Shepherd goes crazy equal to that goat's weird score. So Zubber here has got a, a weird score of two. So it'll push Grimwood's crazy score up to two. If I took a look at my hand, I've got a card that costs five, can't play that. I've got a card that costs three, can't play that. And I've got a card that costs two. So I can play a card that costs two, or I can play two cards that cost one, or I can play a card that costs two and a card that costs zero, or I can play 50 cards that cost zero. But I couldn't play two cards that cost two because their total is greater than my crazy score. Um, when you play a card, your crazy score actually doesn't go down. That just indicates how much total crazy you have to use in a given turn. This turn, I'm going to choose to use Throw the Bones. It costs two crazy. I've got two crazy because I've activated Zumberg. And when this card is played, it says that my Shepherd takes one damage. This deck is all about sacrificing life to get more power. Now, Zumberg actually likes it whenever Shepherds take damage. He gets a little bit weirder whenever any Shepherd takes damage. That's his special rule. And I also get to draw two cards. Yay, me. 
Now, this is an immediate action, so it immediately gets discarded. Now, after I've played cards, I can choose to make what's called a tactical action. The tactical action is the last thing I'm going to be able to do during my turn. And there are four things that I can choose to do. I can choose to grow my goat. Now, growing means I can add one to any of my stats. So that can be mean, that can be weird, or it could be fat. Or I could choose to move my goat, which means I could swap positions with an adjacent goat. It doesn't mean that I can swap positions with Skitters over here, because Skitters and Zumberg are not currently ad adjacent. Or, if Skitters happen to be deceased, I could choose to use my tactical action to bring Skitters back to life. The last thing I can do with my tactical action is I can actually choose to attack. Now, if I declare an attack, I don't immediately deal my damage over to Old Barbie. Instead, what I do is my damage will resolve at the beginning of my next turn. So I declare my attack, and uh, Virginia will have her entire turn to uh, try to block the attack or try to move out of the way. So I'm going to declare my attack, and we'll just see what happens. All right. And Brentford has finished his turn, so I'll take my turn. And at the beginning of my turn, I'll draw a card. All right. I'm going to choose a goat to activate. I'm choosing Gaptooth. Gaptooth's special ability is whenever he is activated, he gains one fat. I'm going to choose not to play a card this round and move right to my tactical action. The tactical action that I'm going to take is I'm going to move Gaptooth. I'm going to have him move with Old Darby. Old Darby's special ability is whenever he is moved, he gains one mean and one weird. And that'll resolve my turn. All right. So Darby has foiled my plans and Gaptooth has blocked my attack. So Zumber comes back, no longer attacking. And I have to choose one of my other unexhausted drops to activate for my next turn. So Zumberg will not be able to uh, take a turn again until Bubbles and Skitters have either activated or are dead. Uh, so this turn I would choose to probably activate Bubbles. But you basically just move back and forth, uh, each player choosing a goat, uh, activating him, playing any cards that he chooses, and then making a tactical action to move, grow, attack, or resurrect a dead goat. And you follow that cycle, bouncing back and forth, getting crazier and crazier and stronger and stronger with your goats until somebody wins by destroying the other shepherd. And that is how you play Grunt.